This is the supplementary video for the paper titled Interaction Field – Intuitive Sketched Base Steering Behaviors for Crowd Simulation. This paper presents a novel method to make crowd simulators easier and more intuitive to use by letting users sketch how agents should move in relation to other agents, obstacles or the environment based on the central concept of interaction fields. When using interaction fields, Users draw the actual interactions in the provided editor by drawing directly the influence of a source on its neighbors. This source, displayed in red, can be an agent or an object in the scene. In this example, we demonstrate the creation of a simple velocity interaction field making agents revolve around the source. It's also possible to create orientation fields, here making agents to look at the source and to combine this field with the previous velocity field to obtain agents revolving around the source while looking at it. The interaction field in question is a function that prescribes velocity orientation vectors in a domain around a source object. Using our approach, it is theoretically possible to combine an unlimited number of interaction fields. For instance, when adding this new field, repulsing agents from the source to the yellow agents in combination with the previous interaction field examples, each yellow agent will start avoiding each other while revolving around and looking at the red agent. In order to make interaction fields change dynamically according to certain parameters related to the simulation, such as interactions with other agents, changing depending on the agent's speed, we also provide a parametric version of the interaction fields. For instance, the VIP scene uses the velocity of the source as a parameter. Several interaction fields for each key value of the parameter are sketched and the field is interpolated during the simulation for all the possible velocities. Here are examples using such parametric interaction fields. The faster the red agent goes, the more the yellow agents are influenced by the field and move further away. By using a motion matching plugin on Unity called MXM, we can animate the trajectories obtained with interaction fields using a custom dataset. MXM selects automatically the closest animation to the trajectories and blends between the animations to transition. This allows us to have realistic motion on top of interaction fields. The red agent is controlled using the keyboard like in the 2D simulation and the animation is in real time. Possible variations of this scenario would be to use an emergency vehicle instead of the agent. The VIP scenario can also be filled out by adding bodyguards. Grouping the bodyguards and the VIP can be done by adding a new parametric field based on speed with the VIP as a source. Here you can see the two fields used for the simulation and the resulting 3D scene. The museum example. The museum example shows how several interaction fields can be combined to design a complex scenario. Each painting is the source of an orientation field and a velocity field, attracting agents to observe the painting. The central pillar is the source of a circular interaction field. Two fields are applied, one clockwise, which will be affecting the yellow agents, the other anti-clockwise, which will be affecting the green agents. Each group will therefore exhibit a different direction of visit. Agents are the source to a speed parametric field so that when they stop to look at a painting, no other agent will go in front of them. In the museum scenario 3D scene, MXM allows us to filter awkward behaviors. The animation couples the orientation and velocity in a more realistic manner. The balance between the faithfulness of the trajectories and the realism of the motion is delicate and depends greatly on the quality of the dataset. All of the virtual humans are propelled by interaction field. Sketching interaction fields. We will now demonstrate the use of the approach to iterate through a complex hide-and-seek scenario where an agent will try to automatically hide from the user behind objects and other characters. We developed a simple interface, the interaction field editor in which users can intuitively sketch an interaction field. 
This interaction field editor lets users intuitively and quickly design new types of behaviors without having to program any behavioral rules. By drawing a small amount of control vectors around a source, the red agent, the entire field is obtained by interpolation. The GUI also allows defining special parametric fields that redirect the orientation of the field in this example. In less than six minutes, the user can test different interaction fields for the hide-and-seek example. Our technique therefore facilitates the design of new kinds of interactions, accelerating the simulation refinement cycles to reach a desired animation result. The hide-and-seek scenario only uses the interaction field previously sketched. The interaction field is applied to each obstacle and agents with the rotation linked to the user-controlled agent. The blue agent is hiding and fleeing from the red agent controlled by the user. In this 3D simulation, we're using the same colors for the agents as in the 2D example. The red character is controlled by the keyboard as previously. The animation is real-time. Thank you for your attention. For more details, please refer to the paper.